Welcome to another PumaScan video demonstration. This is Principal Security Engineer Eric Johnson. And in this demo, what I'm going to show you is how to use the PumaScan End User Edition to generate a vulnerability report. So if you see on the screen here, we're inside of Visual Studio and we've got the PumaScan extension installed. And you can see that very easily using the PumaScan menu item up here at the top of Visual Studio. So if I hit the About screen, you'll see that, yes, we've got PumaScan installed. This is version 0 0.8. We can see that my license is actually activated. So what I'll do is go ahead and open our target application. This is our Puma Prey application, which is in our open source GitHub repository that demonstrates a lot of the different rules that we've got in our secure coding vulnerability scanning framework. So as I opened up the solution, we noticed that pretty quickly we've got 21 different security warnings that are displaying down here in the error list window. Now what we want to do is instead of maybe fixing all of these, which obviously we should do eventually, we want to generate a vulnerability report. In the 0 0.75 version of Puma Scanned in user, we added the ability for you to go in and use this reports feature to generate a report. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the reports feature and we'll notice we get a dialog box that says, which format would you like to export your report to? In this case, we can choose JSON if maybe you need to write a script and import these results into some other vulnerability management system. You can write a script, use JQ potentially to parse those results. What I'll do in this demonstration is just generate an HTML report. So I'll go ahead and leave the HTML option selected. And then I'll click this Save As button to save the report into the downloads directory on this machine. So we'll go ahead and name the report pumaprey.html and hit save. And you'll notice that very quickly, Puma Scans End User Edition has gone through the error list window and exported and formatted those results into an HTML file. So we'll go ahead and close the dialog window for now. We can open up our downloads directory and view the actual report. So I'll go ahead and open up the HTML document and you can see we've got our Puma Prey source code scan results. It gives you the timestamp and the version that we use to scan the application. And you'll see that we've got a summary of all the highs, mediums, and low risks that were identified in the scan. And if you go down to the details section, you'll see a description of each vulnerability ordered by high, medium, and low, and then code references that point to all of the different instances that exist in the code base. For example, right now, we're looking at a weak cryptography algorithm, DES finding, which is our SEC0025 identifier. The description is telling you that the DES crypto service provider class is not safe for use. And it says it's in your common project in the cryptography encryption.cs class line 51 uses the incorrect algorithm and also line 106 in the same file uses that algorithm. So by generating an HTML report with PumaScan Pro's end user edition, you're able to generate this sort of data and get it in a nice, concise, viewable format that you can potentially share with your other team members and or upload to your security planning portal and maybe store that report off with the other vulnerability reports from your other scanners. Thanks for attending this demo and we'll catch you the next time around.